welcome aboard Curiosity, our floating home that takes us about the world. I know you've been wanting to see the boat. Come on in, take a load off, and we'll chat. Oh, hey guys, welcome. This is the original brochure. Brochure mm -hmm. from the Leopard 43. That's the boat that we have. Yep. And the most interesting thing to note is the layout here. Yes. Which this, we'll include in the post. Yes. And we have the owner's version, so it's only three cabins. And that's probably the biggest deal about this boat and why we ended up getting this boat. Yep. The Really, the only difference between owner's version and the other version is one is three cabin, three head, which is the owner's version. Then there's the charter version, which is four cabin, four head. Yeah. But because you have one less cabin and one less head, you get a much comfortable living space for the owners. Much but, more comfortable, yeah. yeah. We'll dive into that. Specs are, overall, she's almost 43 feet long. She is 22 foot 9 beam. Her draft is 4.5, well, 4.3. 4 foot 3 inches. Fuel capacity is 95 gallons. Water capacity is 206 gallons. She has two Yanmar 39s. Mm -hmm. Her mast height is 63. There's some other stuff, but we'll put that in the post. <laughs> if it's necessary. I don't yeah. even know. But you want to have a look? Let's go put on it. your glasses because it's sunny out there. Yes. Start at the front of the boat. The bow of the boat. Before we go up front, I have to do a little disclaimer. I guarantee you we're going to forget something. We're going to miss something. This is not the end-all, be-all, every little detail about our boat. It's just a general tour. we got a technology tour coming soon, and we're going to dive into a bunch of specific things in the future. So when you watch this tour, if you have an idea of something you want to know more about, or you see like a little something off in the background that we don't touch on, leave a comment, and uh, we'll do our best to answer in a future video. So. Put on your shades. Oh, here, do you need a pair? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we'll start with the very front of the boat, the bow of the boat. I'll try to remember those nautical terms. Let's see, I guess the biggest thing would be our trampolines. The trampolines are a little different on some of the other catamarans we've seen. There's lots of different styles. I really like ours. They're super comfortable to hang out on. Some are like you really sink or the rope is really far apart. So anyway, I do love our trampolines. We've got little stools up front. That's pretty common on most catamarans, but it is a really fantastic spot to be on a nice day. The weather's calm and the ocean is fantastic. We have a Genoa and a mainsail. We also have a spinnaker, which we store in this hatch here, and I'll show you that shortly. Let's see, what else? Hatch here for the forward cabin. Oh, I know. The stairs that go up our mast. At first, we didn't know how we felt about these. We thought, oh, I don't know, maybe it doesn't look as cool as the new catamarans. But let me tell you, in heavy seas, when you've got a wave crashing over the front, I'm pretty thankful that helps break the pressure for the windows. Uh, plus, it's another excellent seating opportunity. And it makes getting up to work on the mast much easier than a big giant step, which is what you have to do with a lot of other boats. So anyway, I do like the stairs. I'm kind of sad they got rid of them now. You want me to take over? Yeah. The bend over part? The bend over part. Okay. Everyone wants to know, oh, I'll start forward. You might have to get down on your knees too. Nikki. This is our anchor and you can't really see our anchor because <laughs> it's what's holding us in this spot. It's a nice fancy mantis anchor and we are very very happy that we purchased it and it was a pain in the keister to install but every we time had, we drop the hook we're so thankful we are we had to retrofit it though yes because it wasn't yeah we did this is a little wash down pump for fresh water you've seen us wash the boat many times anytime we sail we have a lot of salt water we got to wash the boat this is what we plug the hose into 
in the hatch or locker is our hoses, our fenders, our extra lines, our giant water tanks, and we actually have two water tanks. Watch out, buddy. Hey, watch out. Watch out. Two water tanks, one on each side, uh, which helps for balance. Yeah, and that's where our chain is and our spare anchor for when we get into a storm and all that jazz. And, yeah, that one makes noise. <laughs> this one I took the time to fix. Last thing here is our windlass, our electric windlass. There's a controller here. This is what we drop the anchor with. It, guides the chain and there's actually a road counter which counts the chain links as they go down so we know how much chain is out. This little locking mechanism to keep it from sliding and this is from our washer dryer vent which we'll closes. Yeah it closes so when we're in big seas and yes we've been in big seas where we needed to close it and uh, yeah. Okay everybody always wants to know how much anchor chain we have. Oh how much anchor chain do we have? Well I think we have about 200 I wrote it down on a slip, but uh, 200 feet of chain plus 200 feet of thick rope or line, I don't know what you call it. And then we have 50 feet for our spare anchor, our second anchor. The cat's going in the, okay. <laughs> 50 feet on our spare anchor and like a hundred, another 150 or 200 feet of rope on that. So that's, that's that. That's that. Okay, one more hatch for you. Yes. Oh this one. Okay. There you go. I got tools, spare tools, spare waxes and solvents and our paddle boards and the spinnaker and our fancy cushiony chairs for having sundowners, which we've only got like two hours to do this tour so we gotta hurry so we can have a sundowner. Good priorities. Priorities. I'm sorry <laughs> to cut this tour short. Okay uh, moving up top. Yep. We have eight solar panels which I'll go into in excruciatingly extreme depth <laughs> later on. We have over here these antennas that are sitting on the back. You have a Wilson booster for our cell phone. We have the little satellite iridium cell phone antenna or Iridium Go. Iridium Go antenna in the middle and then the far right one is the Wi-Fi Ranger which picks up miscellaneous Wi-Fi signals uh, when we're somewhere like this so close to town. And I think that's it for up here. Yep. Not that much significance here on the side. We have some fun stuff to show you in here which is the lazarette and the sugar scoop. I love our sugar scoops. They're nice and low, so they're right by the water. The cats love sitting here and watching the fish. It's a great place to dangle your legs off. Get up from snorkeling. Yeah, get up from snorkeling. It's easy to get right back on the boat. It's easy for the cats to get right back on the boat. Yeah, it's just lots of good stuff about the sugar scoops. Also an excellent place to sit and have a sundowner, if that's where the sun is. Or sit with your coffee and watch the sunrise. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> oh, okay. This is our rudder. Part of what controls our rudder here for steering. So we can't put anything in the way here. We've got all of our boat washing supplies. My little fishing tackle box. Keep fishing pole in here. Our bicycles, our folding bikes. Scuba gear, snorkel stuff. Yep, whole bunch of junk. Yeah, and that's it. Next side. Here we have our little wash down hose, fresh water wash down when you come up from snorkeling or swimming or just need to rinse something off with fresh water. 
We have put this on here because the little nozzles that you buy are plastic crap and break every three months. And they're like 60 bucks, so they're not cheap, right? Like $60? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that works really well. It came off of our shower, our inside shower. Can we put a link to that? Because that's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In here is less junk because the generator is here and we just keep some spare parts for the generator and our engines in here. It's a lot less crazy. Maybe not. Maybe it's just crazy. Moving on. Okay, what do we have going on over here besides Hi, the cat? We got Cleo. <laughs> this is Cleo. She doesn't show up very much in videos because she just likes to relax. She's very chill. If you're wondering what this is, it's made to hold scuba tanks. We are hoping to get scuba tanks one day, but uh, it's pricey. And we think, why have scuba tanks if you can't have a tank fill? An air so, compressor, yeah. An air compressor. So they, yeah, the, the money just goes whoosh. This is our fancy solar array holder and our new dinghy davit system. Very, very expensive, way more expensive than I ever thought it was going to be, but worth every penny. Now that we've hit some seas, we understand why Kent was so adamant about getting this dinghy up higher. Because the original dinghy, like, it hung down, the engine hung down way down here by the deck. Like, eh, it's just crazy. Anyway, I'll go into more detail about that later. And that's Moving it. Moving into the cockpit? Come on into the cockpit. Home station. I don't know why, but I always thought this was the coolest thing. That it flips sides, but I realized when you sit at the helm for so long, you, the last thing you want to do is turn this around and actually sit not at the helm in the same chair. You would just move to a different yeah. spot. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to write home about here. Our technology is 11 years old. Failing. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's failing. Um, it's dying. It's, it's breathing its last few breaths. This is a RAM mount, which we added to hold the iPad with the Garmin chart, which you see a lot in our videos. And this is like our main GPS, even though it was <laughs> so much less expensive than all of this. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's really it. I mean, the engines are engines and fuel tanks are fuel tanks and gauges are gauges. Yeah. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, not really, I mean. No, yeah. no. Okay. One thing that a lot of boats don't have that surprises me, even the newer boats, they don't have a little cover here. So you're always getting blasted with sun. So it's like, what's the point of a hard top if you're always getting blasted with sun if you can't cover it up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. Yeah. May just look like a cockpit, but there's a lot to cover in here. So we'll start with the propane locker, which is right underneath here. We have two propane tanks that are both pretty much on the edge of expiring. Uh, They've already expired okay. by like four years. Or already expired by like four years. We don't really use propane because I am an electronics user. Uh, so anyway, we might end up just paring down to one because it is good to have some sort of backup cooking situation. Uh, we keep our extra lines like our preventer, a bunch of other stuff in there. Well, not a bunch of other stuff. Mostly just some lines. On this side, there is another little compartment here. Oh, oh look at all the junk in there. That's awesome. Um, we have <laughs> underneath here. Is what really matters. Is yeah. what really matters. That's our battery bank. And we have rely on lithium batteries, and they are awesome. amazing. Lithium batteries are hard to bite the bullet and buy a front because they're expensive, but in the long run, they work out to be a better deal. So says me, I'll link to more information on that in the post, and we'll dive into that more in depth later on. Uh, we also keep lines, extension cords, Stop. and whatever else. <laughs> Something needs to be organized. Uh, yeah, <laughs> get stuffed there. Our cushions, which luckily, our boat came with cushions, I just didn't like the upholstery on them, so I painted them. Much to the... Dismay and... <laughs> whatever. Whatever to some people. Anyway, it's held up fantastically. It was super cheap. 
And the cushions were almost dead anyway, so. Yeah, so anyway, a great way to breathe new life into something without having to completely replace them. And ordered our pillows online. Love my little friendly faces in here. It's like whole new characters. Biggest thing would be right underneath here. That is our little Dometic freezer. And it actually, there's different variations of this now. So you can have half of it as a freezer, half of it as a refrigerator, or the whole thing is one or the other. Anyway, that thing runs off of 12 volts. We have it plugged in underneath here. It does not draw much power, but it runs off of Zynga. Why are you complaining? It, it runs off of a compressor, right? Compressor yeah. driven. Yeah. So it runs just like your residential refrigerator in a home would run. So it's very efficient, keeps things at the temperature it's supposed to, which means my frozen stuff Actually, stays, stays frozen. frozen and it doesn't freeze over and frost over on the inside as much near as much as the old school style that we have in the boat. So what do you normally store in there? Well, a lot of ice cream, <laughs> but now I'm almost out of ice cream. So I'm gonna have to, I know everybody keeps saying, make your own, make your own, I'm gonna try. I used to have a little ice cream maker, but I'm not putting an electric ice cream maker on the boat. It just would take up too much room, but I will totally try some of the other methods that you guys have been sending me, upcoming. Okay, what else in here? Oh! The best. The enclosure. So these are apparently expensive, I don't know. We didn't, it just came with the boat. But I know a lot of people don't have them and they just don't want to splurge for them yet. I can't tell you. I can't fathom not having our enclosure. It's amazing. When the weather is super crappy, we can still be out here and it's really nice. When you're sailing and the weather is super crappy, it is really nice to have protection when you're out here. So I, I love the enclosures. I think they're amazing. And, and this one here is one type of glass and this one here is a, is a different type. It's stronger. It's called easy to see why literally the letters <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, it's stronger, easier to Super see through. Clear. It doesn't quite get as hazy, but anyway, you want this stuff flexible so you can roll it out of the way and such like we have the other side rolled out of the way over here. But anyway, enclosure is fantastic. If you're debating, there's no debate, no debate. Hold on, hold on. This is a big deal right here. They're about to go inside for the first time. Well, you've been inside before. <laughs> but this right here, this is why we bought a catamaran. Yes, because you've got what essentially feels like inside, outside space. Transitioning to inside. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. There was. Well, you're not going down and into something. You Everything is up top, so makes when you've got lots of people on board, it's really nice and comfortable. It's easy to come in and out when we're sailing. It's just really freaking nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll give you a break. Yes. <sighs> Pause. Add something. Yes. PFDs and life raft. <laughs> it's all in here. Lots of PFDs, life raft. There you go. There we're, you go. We're safe. Bob's your uncle. And <laughs> Bob's your uncle. <laughs> All right, well, I've got your attention. I'll start right here. This is the electronic area, obviously. It looks like it's super complex and super complicated, but it's it's all really basic once you get used to using it. Old school, needs to go away. Uh, still works pretty well. SSB, uh, some people say they love them. Some people say they hate them. We haven't used it once. But then we haven't done any major off offshore sailing. But yeah, anyway, I think it's going to be, I think it's a dinosaur. In comparison uh, to our Iridium Go. Yeah, it's it's a dinosaur. This is the inverter, the inverter that we have. I will never buy another Mastervolt product, mainly because of their customer service, uh, their non-existent customer service. And just FYI, you didn't buy Mastervolt yeah, product anymore. Anyway. I didn't buy it. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it came on the boat, but anyway, it's all messed up. Uh, yeah, this is all this, and this is our favorite little vacuum. It's great. It My lives computer. right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, desk. And here, obviously, here's our iridium. Here's the fire extinguisher. This is access. That's right. Another reason why we bought this boat. Access to everything. Literally, this is access. All these panels pop down. The TV pops out, and I can access everything behind the helm. Change all the wires. 
get to everything in case, well, not in case something breaks, when something breaks. Yeah, there you go. Because stuff always breaks. You see these little white boxes everywhere. They're just from Ikea. A lot of people ask about them. They're inexpensive. They work really well, and they always stay. They don't slide off or anything like that. We've never had one go flying on us. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. We actually have wood. Yeah. And nothing really here. Oh, you can. This is the owner's side. You can close it off. And this has a little door. I'll show you. So when you have company, you can close it off. I'll get out of the way. It closes better than that, but it's uh, it's nice to have a little privacy. And we can lock the cats in there if uh, for some reason we don't want them out. We've done it before. All right, Singa. One very cool thing that we didn't think was going to be so cool. Maybe we did. Anyway, the bar. This is one of the few boats that we looked at that had a little bar built in. And it is really handy for storage. It gives you somewhere to actually keep everything. And that's nice because it doesn't take up yet another cabinet space. Anyway, lots of storage. No, I wouldn't open that. <laughs> <laughs> More storage down underneath there. We kind of have an alcohol buying problem. Uh, buying problem. Not drinking. No. Just buying. Um, yeah, so this is really handy. Gives us a place to keep the glasses. Mm, we'll go into the galley, but before we do... The dinette. Yes, the dinette is fine. The shape is a little odd. It's kind of hard to get in and around. Definitely only seats like four comfortably. Any more than that, too many. We have, which Jason forgot to mention, we have two air conditioners on this boat. And we did install soft starts so that we could run them off of our lithium battery bank. Also is super helpful when you're at a marina with really crappy electrical systems. But anyway, we'll go into more of that in the technology tour. Okay. To the other bar. To the other bar. Well, the coffee bar, coffee tea bar. We also like coffee and tea quite a bit. So we have a lot of stuff going on here. There's more info about all of that on the website. Oh, our refri what used to be a refrigerator and a freezer are now both just refrigerators because we added the little portable freezer, which gives us way more food storage. And that's been fantastic because on a boat with all of the humidity and the heat keeping fruits and vegetables, if they're not cold, they do not last. So this way our fruits and veggies go much longer. Anyway, it's good. We can house at least two weeks to a month worth of food for just the two of us and if we have a lot of people on board like for instance when Jason's family was in town it was like two weeks max anyway enough of that uh u-shaped galley is really fantastic because as you're sailing and if things are getting crazy and the waves are crashing and you're getting sloshed around it gives you somewhere to lean up against uh, so many cats don't have that so you don't have that. No, they're all straight across. And I, at first I thought, well, you can only really fit like one person in here, maybe one person prepping over here, but works out really well. It's very comfortable in here to cook while underway, even on really crazy days. Uh, lots of storage, more so than you would think. The cabinets are nice and deep, as you can tell, at least full arm's length. So the cabinets that are here go all the way back. So there's lots of space underneath there, far more than it looks like. I don't know, when I first came in here, I thought, ooh, where am I gonna put everything? But fits just fine. Uh, I have lots of little electrical devices. I keep them everywhere and including inside the oven because I don't actually use the oven. It's a hot box. Yeah, this whole thing is just creates a lot of heat as where something small like this only uses a little bit of electricity and does not create all that heat, so anyway. What else is interesting over here? Cle Cleo likes the water. water. <laughs> She's like, this is the best part of the boat, the water. We have an ever flowing water fountain. <laughs> uh, oh, as you can see, you can still see through those steps. It does not block the view as bad as it looks like it might from the outside. So you can still see through, enjoy the view and see what's going on out there. Also works well for food delivery to the people up front or drinks or whatever. It's kind of like the to-go window. What about size of the uh, of the sink? And what are three of the, those three nozzles for? Ah, okay. The size of the sink is pretty decent compared to a lot of other boats we went on. 
so I can't complain too much, but I know I'm not turning on the water right now. <laughs> This one is for our water maker. This is where we test the water before we let it go into our tanks. Uh, we'll go more into the water maker later in the technology tour. This is just our regular faucet water. It comes directly out of those two tanks you saw up front. Oh. Telephone. Telephone. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. And I'm back. We'll talk about our telephone in another post. In <laughs> yes. Uh, and the last faucet would be, it just goes through extra filtration because it's in your tanks. Yeah. Okay, Cleo, go. She's just like, please turn on the water, turn on the water, turn on the water. Water break. Okay, water, water breaks over. Yep. Uh, I know. I know, I'm sorry. She's an old kitty. Uh, one last thing before we leave the galley is I think these are pretty neat. A lot of boats have these. They call it... Drying rack? No, what are they? Uh, drip drain. Drip drain. Yeah, I think it's called a drip drain, but it's really just a place to put your dishes so that they can slowly dry. It has a little drain, so it goes outside. It's probably why they call it a drip drain. Anyway, it's really great. Gives you somewhere to put your dishes, and they're down in there, not slinging around while you're underway. Can you show them our blinds before we go down? Oh, yeah. Are they called blinds? We'll call them blinds. Okay. I'm sure there's some sort of technical Nautical name that we're going to get in trouble for. These, you need, oh. Cats. you need blinds. Blinds on a boat helps keep the heat out. Or silver on the outside. Yeah, so they help reflect. It's fantastic. Huge difference. Can't imagine not having this. More of the little lovely white IKEA tubs. All right, now we are getting ready to go into aft or uh, it doesn't matter, I suppose. We will we'll start start in the rear. We'll start in the, <laughs> the stern. The aft cabin. Yes, but not just the aft cabin. The aft port cabin. Smaller bed in here, but totally fun for a guest. Has one tiny closet closet behind here which we use to store all of our tools not all of them but some of them right now the bread maker is also stored over here bread maker is a fantastic thing uh, a little closet here and of course the head one notable thing about the head bathroom shower is that in the guest cabins and when you usually have the four cabin layout the four heads two this is your shower. So it goes right up here and you shower that way. It's a wet bath, so everything gets wet. So you have to dry everything down afterwards. Water gets pumped out. But of course we have our awesome composting toilet. And the covered uh, toilet paper rolls. Yes, yeah, so that those don't get wet. That's it. Yep. Next cabin. Oh, no! The water maker and the engine is also in here. I'll one of the them. engines. Okay. Another unique thing about the boat is we have a direct drive. I think it's called the direct drive or shaft. Direct shaft. It's just one long shaft versus most catamarans nowadays have a sail drive that kind of does this like Z thing and it has oil in it and extra maintenance and things that can break. Ours is direct, which means, by the way, the engines are under here. That's what I'm showing you. Which means we have this giant space with our engine, which kind of stinks because the sail drives take up a lot less room. But I, actually, I like this because we don't have as many breaking parts. So anyway, this is our engine. Uh, it's just a Yanmar 39 horsepower. Yeah. Our RO water maker, which is pieces of it are over here. And this down. It is nice to work when you're out in the ocean, something breaks. It's nice to work inside of a cabin versus outside on the sugar scoop because one mistake, you're overboard with tools a couple tools in your hand. Yeah. Inch parts. <laughs> Everything's overboard. All right, down here, this is our RO water maker. It's called Cruise RO. 
And at first I thought I wasn't going to like it because it's all manual and it's all these switches and gauges and everything. But now I've been using it. It is easy to use once you get, get used to it. And I'm actually happy that we have it. Well, I mean, of course I'm happy that we have it. And it's like 40 gallons an hour, so we can make a lot of water. Ah, cats. All right, hope you're not getting bored. There's only a little bit left. But if you're still watching, you're obviously interested. All right, while we're here, stop right there. Access to everything. These are access to fuel tanks, uh, bilges, lines, pretty much everything. There's access to everything in the floors and in the ceilings. Yeah, so pretty much everything you're standing on comes up. Yes. Yep. Hang like that. It's like yeah. parkour. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. This is the most comfortable bed, mattress, that maybe we've ever had. We just got it. My family got to sleep on it. They loved it. And to be honest, this room is the best one we have in the entire boat, mainly because of this giant hatch. When we're out at the anchor, when we're out at the anchor, <laughs> when, we're out, <laughs> when we're out on the anchor, the wind comes in and it just just blows like crazy right here and then there's another hatch over here an opening over here that the wind just blows through here so it stays really nice and cool um, and you know right away when it's raining I mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this mattress is lightweight it's organic cotton it's it's like a super cushy anyway love it I'll put a link to it in the website yeah but also show them the cool oh. thing underneath yeah so this is an anti-mold sort of thing. Basically, I think it just gets the mattress off of the flat surface because the humidity can get caught and captured under there and cause your mattress to mold. So this little thing keeps it from molding. S super inexpensive. Yeah, uh, and the mattress is really lightweight. Super lightweight. It's thin, yet it's it's as comfortable. I'll, I'll show you. This It's about that thick. Okay, I'll show you in our bedroom the uh, competition that's about twice the price. The Tempur-Pedic. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say the T word. <laughs> Back here, this is supposed to be a, well, this is a V berth. It's supposed to be another bed, sleeping quarters, but I wish we would not have this because as you can see, we use it for storage anyway. And this boat is not made for seven people. So there's no way we're gonna have all three cabins filled and somebody sleeping here. It, it's just, it's annoying because I can't see the through bolts that are up here. I can't see the through bolts that are up there. I gotta take the entire thing apart just to, uh, anyway, I thought it was a good idea and a good feature that came with the boat, but now I'm in real life, nah, nah it's, yeah. it's pointless. Because on the other side, which you will eventually yeah. see. The other side will show you what we like about that. These fans, absolutely ridiculous. Pieces of crap. I would turn it on, but it's broken. <laughs> I think three of the six on here are braided broken. So that's why there's and, this little fan. And they're so expensive. Yeah, yeah, they're a couple hundred bucks or something. I, I can't remember, but. And they're noisy they're and noisy. you can chop your fingers off. Yeah, it's a super finger chopper. But yeah, anyway, you can see these, all of these ceiling panels are all, not all of them, but many of them are Velcroed on. So you can pull them off and then you can get to everything up in the ceiling, which is wiring and all that stuff. I think that's it. I mean, really the, the biggest feature here is the mattress and the hatch. The hatch. And the cat. Yep. This is also practically Singa's room. So yeah, this he, is Singa's room. He likes to hang out here a lot. <laughs> I think that's it up here. Yep. All right, you wanna take him to the other room? Oh, or I guess, me here. Oh. There you go. That's the, uh, the head. It's basically Hi. the same. Pretty much the same in here. Another composting toilet, another sink that doubles as a shower, and that's that. I almost forgot the one thing we get asked about a bazillion times, which is, where do you keep the litter box? Well, we cut a hole in this cabinet right here, and that now houses all things kitty related. They got a whole cabinet and then a boat. That's a big deal. So litter box is here. We found one that just magically happened to be the right size. Thank goodness. Fits right in there. Treats, food. You can scoop away the litter or it can go 
overboard if we're out to sea because it's biodegradable. Okay, next hole. All right, so this is the owner's hull and the starboard side. Anything else Any I should tell you? Any related term yeah. <laughs> you can use there? Uh, all right, we'll start with the boudoir. This is it. This is our room. It's our bed, which did come with a Tempur-Pedic mattress, but it is thick and it is heavy. And heavy. because the engine, just like on the other side, is underneath here, we do need to access them quite often to check the strainers, just make sure everything looks good. Check if the anything, oil, check the bilges. Yeah, and it's moving this mattress is quite the task. So we're not, yeah, it's heavy. So the other one is better. If I would have had my choice, I would have gone for the, the other mattress because it's so much lighter. All right, what else? That's kind of it. It's a room. All right, I'm going to show you Jason's closet because it's behind this door. One little interesting thing about boats, well, at least our boat, is there's little latches for all of the doors because otherwise they would be flying around all the time. Yoga mat, my ukulele that rarely gets played. Never have time. Shoes. Look at that. I think you have almost as many shoes as I do. Uh, Jason's closet. Yep, that's it. <laughs> All right, moving on. Desk space, which is good and bad when you're underway. You don't really want to be down in a hole, much better to be up top, so we work from one of the tables. But when we're at a calm anchorage, like now, it's totally fine to work down here. It's good storage for things like a printer, for printing out documents when you're entering new ports and all that jazz. Uh, what do you think about the sofas? The sofas that are in some of the other ones that yes. we've seen, yeah, it's funny. Some of like the Fontaine Peugeot's and some of the others that we've been in, they'll have like a sofa in here, like a seating area, which is absolutely pointless. What do you do with that besides maybe sit down and put on a pair of shoes? Anyway, this is very usable. I like having a desk down here. Oh, and more cabinet spaces and place to hang the jackets. Can you show them your closet? Really fast. Just don't look hard. Quick peek. Quick peek, but uh, this is my closet. So shoes, more shoes. And this is organized chaos. I know what's in there and that's all that matters. Okay, moving into here. Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, forgot to take care of that. <laughs> Clean up everything else. Uh, here, I'll let you, this is totally your room. You've spent so much time in this room, it's only fair that you talk about oh, this Oh, great. <sighs> I know you've spent a lot of time in that position. Yes, this head has been quite my nemesis for many, 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 many months. And it's acting up a little bit again. I've got a new water pump, uh, like macerator slash water pump that I'm installing. It's from a different company called Ritrarian or something. I can't even pronounce it. Anyway, it's supposed to be a little bit better. Everything's pretty much the same. As the other bathroom, we got that. Flush the butt. Flush, Flush the, the butt. butt. <laughs> Push the button. <laughs> I don't even know. What would that, what would that mean? I installed this new thing. That's nice. Yes, the new thing. That was awesome. Nothing really there. Oh, uh, suction cup mirror, which is great for Nikki because she cuts her hair like that, and then washer dryer. How do I do that again? <laughs> Just like, like that. Like a ninja. Yeah. We do have a washer dryer and it is older than it's supposed to go on there, but it, it just doesn't. kind of falls off sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, it works really well. It's the exact same one we had in the RV. And if you're wondering why we have the loads in the shower, that's just because it's super delicate stuff. Uh, Nikki's scarf. Scarf got wet because all of our hatches leaked. They got soaked one day. Oh, the joys. Yes. Yes, the joys. And... Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was size. I am five foot nine. So you can see height wise, width wise. A lot of people come on our boat and say, wow, your boat looks so big on the videos. 
but it's not that big in real life. Well, it's, it's because usually we use a super wide angle lens so you can actually see. And actually we're using not as wide angle lens right now. So it looks maybe a little more normal, but our boat's not huge. It's, it's, well, I mean, it is, but it is size. Yeah. 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 I mean, it is, it is a big boat. It's bigger than a 25 foot monohull for sure. But yeah, it's not like the new cats. No. This is by far one of the best parts of having an owner's version is you get this ginormous shower. It's very comfortable to take a shower in here. Because of our lithium batteries, we get to kick on the water heater every now and then to take a warm shower. I know a lot of sailors out there are going to be jealous or upset that we do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hot showers on a sailboat Hot showers are on a big sailboat. deal. Yeah, it's a really big deal and we're very fortunate to be able to do that. And this is the way I wish our other V-Birth was. Uh, yeah, you it's kind of packed. <laughs> we're provisioned for another four months in here, but we've got our coolers because they make sense in there and canned food and stuff and we found that n no matter what things still start to rust so we've got all these sealed tubs that work really well anyway i can see all my nuts and bolts in there everything coming through the deck i can see and inspect which is what i really like about uh, this v-birth not being with doesn't have the fancy walls on the side the, the pleather walls and the ceiling cover and all that crap i can actually see what's going on which is helpful. Which is helpful. Anything you want to say about in here? Um, no. Yeah. Oh, but if you want to save water, oh, you yeah. have to go for a low flow shower head. Otherwise, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it blasts through the water if you're not careful. Yes. Or if you don't install the right shower head. Okay, Nikki. Okay. All right, I know that was probably a lot of rambling and us talking too fast and maybe not fast enough but hopefully you got the idea yeah it was a quick tour but not a quick tour at the same time yeah, it's a lot of stuff to cover and it's try to point out everything that you might be interested in and what you're going to want to know but anyway we tried hopefully it was good enough. yeah and with this channel with our youtube channel we want to do more videos that are helpful and we want to do our adventures we want to share some helpful stuff so please if you saw something again that, that you want to know, you more, want to know about. more about please let us know and i do promise i will do a technology tour very soon that yep. goes into our, all of our technology yes breaking it down yeah. and you know a lot of people ask also why did you buy a cat and I did really... you ever consider a monohull did you ever consider a motorboat instead and hopefully this video will help help you understand why we were attracted to this boat, why we were drawn to it, and basically, basically, <laughs> basically, you're thinking about that maceator you need to replace. <laughs> I need a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> we liked this catamaran because it's so livable. Livable. Yeah. It's a great layout. They're very comfortable. They're comfortable at sea for the most part. I mean. You're in rough seas, you're in rough seas. Yep. It doesn't matter. Well, if you're in a gigantic boat. It yeah. will make a difference. But generally, for the same size of boat, I feel like you're going to get movement in any of them, but a catamaran is definitely comfortable. I think that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy the tour. And what do you want to see? Uh, you want to see a sunset tonight? There's no clouds. No, but it's, it's always a good sunset there's is there such a thing as a bad sunset no i didn't think so all right we'll push you out on a sunset and push bob, you out bob is your uncle are you kidding like <laughs> overboard I, out I'm you not go thinking right uh, somebody's tired right. one last reminder is that i will put all of the links to any of the products we may have mentioned all the different stuff there will be loads more information on the post and i will bullet point list out all of our gadgets and gear and everything else that goes along with the boat and discount codes if we have them and discount codes if we happen to have any all that kind of good stuff uh and if you don't want to click over to the website that's fine too just make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below on what you want to see more info about or whatever okay let's go watch sunset ah good old pumpkin spice latte Perfect. pumpkin stout 
from Breckenridge Brewery. It's obviously not a paid plug, it's just a good beer. Thank you.